You know, one of the interesting things about silver that I don't think people talk about, especially silver stackers, but it's actually pretty funny when you really think about it. Silver just isn't that impressive. No matter how much you accumulate of it, I mean, it really, at the end of the day, just kind of looks somewhat boring. Now, that being said, again, as a silver stacker, when you have those 100 ounce bars, those kilos, all right, it starts to get a little impressive. But when you look at just the generics, the bullion coins, things like that, the more and more that you get, I mean, if you just laid out your stack, it looks really like someone who's ready to just start making pewter animal, you know, circus animals or things like that out of their metals. It really just doesn't speak to, you know, its stated goal of accumulating or preserving wealth. Which again, that can have pros and cons. Some people don't want to put their, uh, their overall value on display. That, in contrast to gold, gold, for whatever reason, and it could just be an innate, you know, human instinct, gold really does, even if you have small amounts, it definitely captivates you, captivates your ima imagination, you know, you can't stop looking at it, it's something that you really just want to accumulate more and more of, whereas silver, the more that you have, it kind of seems, at least for me, that it gets less and less impressive as time passes. It's interesting though, because the the variety that you can have in silver as far as designs, bullion pieces, coins, rounds, everything in bars, everything in between. There's a wide variety out there to keep you captivated. But it does get old. And I think people don't talk about that much, you know, as much as it should be. If you're new to silver stocking, you know, those first couple years, months, you know, weeks of, of accumulating bullion pieces and kind of seeing what's what, that is fun. It's great. And especially because silver is so affordable, you know, it's it's easy to kind of, you know, jump on board. But when you start to have tubes and tubes and tubes of, you know, endless bullion coins, rounds, you know, bars, all that kind of different stuff, it does start to get a little old. It starts to become like, uh, you know, back in the days of pogs where you would stack your pogs together and then come with a slammer and flip them over. You know, th that was an actual game that people were into and people spent big money on that, Be make no mistake. It kind of gets like that where, eh, you know what, it just isn't as impressive anymore. And it gets kind of sad, again, because when you think about it, I mean, look at this. This is hundreds and hundreds of dollars, probably, what, close to $1,000 of value? <clears throat> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money in a very ho-hum blah form that if most people saw it, they would think, you know, it's a couple dollars worth of, uh, of metal. They would think nothing of it. Is there value to that? Is there value to people thinking that, you know, hey, you know, the, you know, this or that? Myself, like, I like it because if someone saw this on the dresser, or they saw it, you know, in a tube or, well, a tube would probably, probably be somewhat of a giveaway. But if they saw it laying around, they really wouldn't think it very much except, hey, this guy's a giant nerd who collects coins. I mean, I, I'd probably say the same thing if I didn't know what it was and didn't know what it was worth. That being said, there's no mistaking gold. Gold, even if it's like a watch, an earring, the instant recognizability by the lay general public. So I asked myself, like, is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Do you want that? Do you want people to instantly recognize what you have? Or do you want them to be in the dark? And again, there's all the other questions about if that's really accurate, if that's really true, Again, think that through to the SHTF. They're not going to know what the hell this is. They're not going to reckon. They're going to think you made this in your basement. They're going to think you have, you know, uh, great. I can't even think of the name. The little fireplace thing for melting metal. Crucible. They're going to think, you know, they're going to think you do this in your spare time. It's really kind of funny and it's really telling again and just the, the environment that we live in and the assumptions that we make about what other people understand about silver and or gold. People have no concept of silver. Silver just isn't, it just isn't, it's not there. No one knows what it is, what it's worth, you know, anything to do with it. Whereas gold, even if you don't know how much it's worth, you do know it's valuable. When you see it, you know it's valuable right off the bat. The human brain just recognizes that there's value there. What do you think? Is that a pro or is that a con of silver? Is it good that people don't recognize its value? And if that's the case, again, doesn't that kind of rule out its utility in the SHTF? 
I don't know. I'm conflicted. You let me know.